Yikes! Did you see how many people are out there in the audience? Yes, isn't it great? 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 Oh, my agent's gonna hear about this. Just think, Snowflake. All these people came tonight to hear you tell your story. Tell them to wait till the movie comes out. <laughs> oh, come on, Snowflake. You gotta go out there. All these people came tonight to hear you tell your story. But, but, uh, hi. My name is, uh, um, well... Snowflake. Oh yeah, that's it, Snowflake. My name's Snowflake. I would have preferred the name Rocky, but nobody asked me. Anyway, this is my story, my tale, so to speak. It's, uh, about a night long ago when I, well, sort of wandered off from the flock. But it wasn't my fault, honest. See, there's this kid, Zekai Ebenezer. We called him Zeke for short. We had to. It was either that or we'd all get tongue whiplash. Anyway, Zeke was a nice kid and all, but this shepherd gig just wasn't his thing. It's only supposed to be a 45 minute show. All right, all right, I'm hurrying. Like I said before, my name's Snowflake and I belong to this flock of sheep and sheep have to be watched by shepherds. My shepherd was Zeke, the kid I was telling you about. That's him over there. He's a pretty nice guy, but he had a lot to learn about shepherding and obedience. Of course, sheep had that down pat. We're very obedient animals. Well, most of the time. Don't blame Zeke for not wanting to be shepherd. Sheep can be a pain sometimes. And there's the weather too. Shepherds have to be out in the rain a lot. Sheep don't like that either. You know what water does to wool. And when you're a shepherd, you have to keep watch. 
making sure none of the sheep wander off. So it's no wonder Zeke had other careers in mind. Of course, he didn't tell anybody how he felt until one day he couldn't hide it any longer. know what he's going to be. He's going to be a shepherd just like his father, and his father before him, and his father before him. That's all he can be, a shepherd, a lowly old no good shepherd. Hey, I don't have to be a shepherd if I don't want to be one. I could be, well, I could be a policeman. Oh yeah, shepherd boy would make a great cop. Yeah, he could catch all the criminals on the lamb. Get it? The lamb. <laughs> Class, class, now that's enough. Laugh all you want, but I am not going to be a shepherd. But then who wants little snowflakey wakey? Yeah, everybody knows it takes a flake to wash a flake. Class, class. Wait, now? Kids. If Zeke doesn't want to be a shepherd, he doesn't have to. Snowflake would get along just fine without me. I think I'll be a cop or an astronaut. You might even train to be a man. You can run for mayor, maybe you'll cut hair. When I grow up, who knows the job I'll get? All oh, you're ever gonna be is a shepherd. <laughs> I think I hear Will Snowflake ringing now. I think I'll study law. can't be Father Zeke, it says to come straight home after school. You have to watch the sheep. 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 What 
you doing, Zeke? Nothing, Dad. Just sitting here, thinking. The stars over Bethlehem sure are bright tonight, aren't they? They've been growing brighter and brighter every night. Like something special's about to happen. What do you think it is? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Dad, can I ask you something? Of course, son. Would it hurt your feelings if I told you I didn't want to be a shepherd? You can be whatever you want to be, Zeke, but there's nothing wrong with being a shepherd either. I know, but it just isn't exciting enough for me. Not exciting? Are you kidding? Come here, Zeke. I think it's time you learned just how exciting shepherding is. What do you say, guys? Think it's time for Tales from the Flock? Son, see you in the morning. Y you're going to sleep now? Well, it's getting late. Besides, being a shepherd's boring, remember? Good luck in our watch tonight, son. Yeah, uh, good night. Yes, son? Uh, would you mind keeping watch with me? You're not, uh, bored, are you? Uh, no, it's just that I don't spend enough quality time with you, that's all. <laughs> all right, I'll watch with you. G Grandpa? <laughs> would you mind keeping watch with Zeke and me? A watch? I don't need a watch. I've already got three of them and none of them work. It's all right, Dad. I'll keep watch. You and Grandpa can go to sleep. You sure? Yeah, I'll be fine. Well, if you need anything, we'll be right here. But whatever you do, don't fall asleep. These sheep are depending on you. <sighs> I know, Dad. <sighs> I know.
The stars sure are bright tonight. <sighs> I'm glad. They'll help keep me awake. Yeah. I'm gonna stay awake. <sighs> Wide. Well, as you can see, no one was watching me. So being the curious lamb that I am, I started wandering farther and farther and farther. I said, hey, I'm wandering now. No, really, I'm going. Oh well, I figured I'd be back by morning before Zeke ever knew I was gone. One, two, three, four, five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Oh no! One's missing! It's Snowflake! Snowflake's gone! What's the matter, son? Snowflake's gone! I counted all the sheep and Snowflake's missing! How is she missing? You were watching her last night, weren't you? I fell asleep! But only for a little while, an hour tops, maybe two. No more than four, I'm sure of that. Oh, Dad, I'm really sorry. Whisper down and help you look for her. You must find Snowflake. 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 Snowflake, where are you? Hey, hey you, shepherd boy. Who, me? Yeah, you, Zeke the Geek. I'm not looking for any trouble, guys. I'm just trying to find Snowflake. If, if, if you're looking for a flake, why do you just look in the mirror? search every inch of this place until I find her and that's final. Sandy, Mandy, and Andy, you kids get home right now and do your chores and you better not be up to any mischief. Hey guys, I think your mommy's calling you. Well, we'll be back for you. Ooh, I'm shaking in my sandals. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on, Come on guys. guys. Let's go. Let's go. Whew, that was close. I thought I was gonna be road pizza. Ooh, I'd better hurry. Anything could happen to a lamb all alone out here. 
Snowflake, snowflake, snowflake. You know, none of this would have happened if Zeke had just obeyed his father and watched me in the first place. But Zeke still had a lot to learn, so the shepherds looked for me all morning, all afternoon, and when nighttime came, they still hadn't found me. When I get lost, I really get lost. And But that night wasn't going to be any ordinary night, as Zeke was about to find out. Snowflake, snowflake. Whoa, you're not snowflake, you're an angel. The others are never gonna believe this. Fear not, for behold, I bring you the tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. This shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. A Savior? Born in Bethlehem? I gotta go tell the others. Hey, isn't that that shepherd boy? Yeah, I thought we told him to beat it. Yeah, let's show him who's in charge around here. Wait, guys. We can't let him see us wearing these aprons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, hide the brooms and let's take off these stupid aprons. I can't get mine untied. Me neither. Let's turn the... One minute, guys. He... What is this? What is that glow on? Wait, guys, he looks different. Oh, yeah. What's that glow on his face? I don't know. Maybe he's radioactive or something. <laughs> I... I... I still don't think we should mess with someone who glows. I think you guys have been reading way too many science fiction books. He probably went to one of those, you know, tanning salons. <laughs> hey you, shepherd boy, did you find your little sheepy weepy yet? I can't talk now, guys. I'm on my way to see a king. A king you? Now why would a king want to see you? I don't know, but an angel came and told me all about him. An angel? You saw an angel? Well, he is glowing. And I still don't think we should mess with someone who glows. <laughs> you kids quit your social life and get back to work. We have a lot to do. Mom, he said he saw an angel. There's an angel out here? You kids would say anything to get out of work. Now here, get busy. <laughs> you know, it's funny. All these years, I thought you were the cool ones. But someone who sees an angel and gets invited to a king's birthday? Now that's cool. By the way, nice aprons.
Dad, Dad, did you see? Did you see the angel? I sure did. We all did. We're going to Bethlehem now. You coming with us? You'd better believe it, but wait a minute, Dad. What about Snowflake? I'm sorry, son, but if Snowflake hasn't turned up by now, I'm afraid. You mean, come on, let's go to Bethlehem. All we can do is hope and pray Snowflake will be all right. Imagine a king sleeping in a manger. He's God's own lamb. Speaking of lambs. What? Hey, uh, shepherd boy, I think we found something that belongs to you. Snowflake! How'd you find her? Boy, am I glad to see you. Hey, thanks guys. How come, I mean, this is so unlike you. What made you change? It's probably the fact that, you know, you're glowing. It's and something just told us that this was a good night. A night for peace and goodwill toward men. But how in the world did you find us here? In a stable? Well, let's just say someone left a light on for us. Sorry I wandered off. That's okay, Snowflake. The important thing is, is that you're home where you belong.
So there you have it, folks. That's my tale, and it's the truth. Every last bit of it. And I should know, because I was there. I saw the manger and baby Jesus, the savior of the world, lying right there in it. What a night. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? No, actually, it was kind of fun. I love a story with a happy ending. Hey, where's Snowflake? Don't tell me you lost her again. Ugh, she was here a minute ago. Snowflake, Snowflake. Over here, guys. Snowflake, what are you doing? Sorry, I was just telling the people here about you and the angel and baby Jesus Look, and- Look, if I'm gonna be your shepherd, you gotta quit wandering off like this. It's dangerous out there and- What was that you said? It's dangerous out there and- No, that other part about being my shepherd, does that mean? Well, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Yes, I mean, and? <laughs> and I guess I sort of decided that. And, and? Well, that being a shepherd isn't so bad after all. In fact, it's pretty cool. You know, if I hadn't been a shepherd, I wouldn't have got to see an angel. And I might not have gotten to see God's greatest gift ever. Yeah, God's got something special for all those who are in the right place at the right time. Huh, Zeke? Right, Snowflake. Let's both try to remember that.
And they did awesome, didn't they? Can we just give it up for them one more time? They did great. Also, we definitely need to recognize the ladies that put in a ton of time and effort to get these kids ready. Can we give it up for Anita, Rachel, and Heidi, please?